guys, happy Saturday. We are just in the parking lot of the florist. Excited to look at some roses. Let's see what all this big money is about because apparently I like the most expensive flowers in the world. And um, I actually found this florist through one of my followers on TikTok. So pretty cool. We'll see what she has for us. She um, is going to show me all the different white roses and have some centerpieces, I guess, put together for us to see if we like them. Mainly if I like them, because do you really have an opinion on what the centerpieces look like? Not really. Not really. <laughs> He's here to, to uh, make sure I stay within the budget. So let's go. <laughs> Pinterest worthy wedding, I would say. I hope it comes out to be that way, but we'll see. What do you think, babe? Did you like the flowers? Yeah, it's a great time. It's In awesome. half a mile. Did you think they were pretty? Yes. And she gave me the roses. Just a couple to take with me, which I was so hyped about because they are just so perfect. I like how she did mix in a little bit of the blush. Um, but my bouquet will be all white and same thing with my bridesmaids and then the groomsmen boutonnieres will just be the all white rose so love it everything was perfect and we accomplished a lot this weekend so happy to have that checked off the list i also have to do my invitations send out my final edits because now that I have some information that I got from my coordinator yesterday, I can finally get the invitations finalized and everything's really coming together. So, can't wait. Why do these places close so early though? I know, right? Maybe because of COVID. Okay. I mean, if there's something that I'm like, oh my god, I want, like, could you get it by like, I think my dress fitting is the 22nd Wednesday. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to go in the room here? We can stay in the room here if you want to. Yeah, sure. One, two, three. <laughs> yes. Turn sideways. I feel like I can run. Woo. 
Hey guys, we are getting married in 57 days, I think. I'm, I know it's less than 60, so we are at the two month count, well, less than two month countdown. Today I am going to have my hair trial and I am so excited to see what my hair dresser slash friend Gabby is going to do with these long locks. Cause I'm going to wear my hair up. And I'm gonna have her change the hair before you come get me. Cause I don't want you to see what the hair, like what the actual do is gonna look like, so. I'll see you guys at the hair salon.
Especially because your, your eyes are so light. Look down. Like that to me? Okay guys, we are home. We are obsessed still. Like, I just can't get over it. Oh, it's just so good. So, it's been a quite a minute since I've vlogged at all. And there's just so much going on, especially in my apartment right now when it comes to wedding planning things. Let's just take a look. I got a ton of orders today. So let me just show you what we have happening. We are, as I said before, 10 days out from the wedding. So I have basically things arriving every single day. And <laughs> there's just so much that I'm DIYing, but then also just things that like everybody probably buys for their wedding. Um, a lot of signage coming in and things like that. So let's just take a look-see. I just got these two Humongo boxes that our seating plans are on, our seating charts. And then I have just some things from Amazon. I still have to steam all of these, but some of the gifts for my bridal pate. I got them all customized clutches from Island to East Side. And then Birdie Gray pajamas and robes which match exactly the color of the bridesmaids dresses i'm gonna bring all this up to new hampshire with me there's so much oh wait and i have like ten thousand rose petals to separate and i'm definitely enlisting my matron of honor to help me with all that because that's gonna be a lot of work. My job was to leave is to leave my makeup on for the entire day to see how it wears and make sure that my eyes, because they are a little sensitive when it comes to lashes, to make sure that they are not having a reaction. And right now we are so far so good. I feel good. And like, it's 3.41. She started doing my makeup around 10 o'clock. Um, she said be a little bit faster on the day of, but for the most part, we want her to take her time. She's just doing me. Um, yeah. And like the lipstick, lip gloss, I was drinking water on the like car ride home and everything's held up really, really well. The highlight. Oh, it's like glass. It's just, oh, it's so good. So good. I love it so much. All right. Let's open some of the stuff here. I want to see the seating plans. That's what I want to see. Okay, it's crazy to think that I keep saying, oh, the wedding's in 10 days, whatever. I have over a week, but I really don't because a week from today, I'm going to be getting my nails done, my toes done. I have a teeth whitening appointment. We should be packing, we're picking up the U-Haul, we're packing it up, and then Thursday, so a week from tomorrow, we're driving up to New Hampshire, like, and wedding weekend begins. So <laughs> I really only have like a week from now to get my house organized and get everything that I need ordered and like expedite, <laughs> expedited to my house. I have pretty much ordered everything. I just need Matt to order his groomsman gifts. Of course, I'm gonna probably have to do it for him. So, oh, well this is upside down, but I made these on Canva, okay? I put in the dimensions. For the amount of money that these cost, it was only like 40 bucks a piece. I got them on Vistaprint and they shipped in like two days. It's definitely worth it because look, like you seating charts like this on, Amazon, on Etsy were like hundreds of dollars. 
and it's nice quality really cute i mean for the size of these for being i got them 30 percent off so they are on like normally i guess a little bit more expensive than 40 something bucks a piece but wow very very happy with it this is our cake topper i am obsessed it's absolutely stunning same with our guest book like are you it's gorgeous like unreal how beautiful and then we're going to do a photo booth guest book so this is the sign that we have and then once everyone takes their pictures they can put it in our guest book they could also sign if they want to and then these are the regular bar signs for our open bar. I did drunken love and then wine drunk with all the wines in our package. Better with the beer, with the beers in our package and hold my liquor for the liquor, of course. We have custom signature drink signs, but those are coming soon. And this is the same thing because I'm gonna probably have one at the cocktail hour and then the other one will be put in the reception. But I will link the seller that I bought these from in the description box below. They are located in the UK. I believe it's Rose Sign Co, but I will double check and just put all the info in the description box. But this is the vibe and I am, I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. Something else we just got custom napkins with our hashtag and date on them and they match our signage perfectly. I am obsessed. They are so pretty. I will link the website where I got them below as well with everything else. Good morning and welcome to my wedding warehouse i have not been able to live in my apartment <laughs> for the last month or so because i've been accumulating so much wedding decor and it's just a little bit of a shit show over here i kid you not and i would have died and wouldn't have been able to do all this without my amazing matron of honor layla we have to do the wide view for this because this is just insane. This was, this is organized compared to what it was over the weekend. Um, and she helped me put all of these boxes together. She helped me label them and put everything in order. So it corresponded to the spreadsheet that I have for my wedding coordinator at the venue. So she knows how to set everything up. It's just crazy. We have so much stuff and we're renting a U-Haul to drive all this up. The, these boxes here are just welcome bags alone. It's just crazy. And uh, I still have stuff that I need to get delivered to my house between today and tomorrow. I wanted to do a seating chart because I'm doing a signed seating. I put the board in this display sign holder that I purchased off of Amazon. I have two more of them coming. So they come in black, but then I spray painted this one gold and I still have to spray paint the other two gold. So the first half of the seating chart will also be in a holder like this to be able to make sure that everybody had, you know, an idea of where to go. Once you get to the table, there'll be a place card or a place scroll for the actual guests. The table number will be on there and then their name. And I'm probably going to have the venue set it up so that these are on the champagne flutes for the toasts and speeches. They're just so gorgeous. I'm, I'm way obsessed. Like, so, oh, so obsessed. And finally, we have our reception welcome sign and our unplugged ceremony sign, both by Rose Signage Co. I will link in the description box below. High, high quality, absolutely obsessed. It's Tuesday, August 16th, and your bride 
is getting ready to head out for my final dress fitting. It's been pushed back like twice already because the dress was not ready yet. They had to change out the mesh. By the time I post this, I've already will have had my wedding and you'll have likely have seen my dress on Instagram, what have you. But anyway, it's an illusion neckline. I'm tan. The mesh that it came with was way too white, but it also has a lot of beadwork like on the mesh. So when she changed the mesh out, she had to re-add like 800 plus beads. So it's taken her a lot of time and she's doing it all by hand. So I want her to take her time. I'm happy to say that um, I've been able to organize all of my decor. So I plan on getting like big moving boxes to put these welcome bags. Here's a little up close of our welcome bag, the little tag, and then a ton, a ton, a ton of goodies inside. So many snacks. So a little insert card, fun facts about us, a little bit about the resort that we are all staying at. And that's the resort on the top. That's a picture of it. And then a little wedding weekend timeline. And I printed these off Canva, my favorite, my favorite thing. And I still have a lot, not a lot, but a decent amount to do. We have put together the favors. Um, I think Matt and I will either do that tonight or tomorrow. And just uh, tie up a few loose ends with the venue and my flowers. I just need to get a final estimate from my florist. And yeah, it's, it's really coming together. So my aunt is on her way to pick me up. And my outfit is just literally express shorts and this cute bride sweatshirt from Six Stories. I'm bringing my shop we were what tote because it fits my big ass Jimmy Choo heels. <laughs> I'm also bringing my earrings for the wedding day and that's it. I don't really feel like bringing the whole like tiara and all that. Like I, I did that the first time my dress came in. It gets stuck in my hair. Like we just have to, we're going to wait for the actual wedding day to really get it, get the full picture anyway. I know it looks good with it, so it's fine. I just really need to just make sure this dress, like I need to, I need to secure the package basically <laughs> because it's cutting it close. Don't know where I'm going to store it in this house, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. So we will, I'll see you at the dress shop because as I said, I'll be posting this after I get married. So I'll show you guys me trying on my dress for the last time before I get married in it. Ah, crazy. See you there. Okay. Is that it? Just the three? And that? Oh. Oh, that's an easy bustle. Very nice. Just three things. In, oh, no. I was going to say Alyssa. Juliana. And Juliana Marie. Beautiful. Oh, very easy. It's a real princess. Thursday. Next stop, Mount Washington Hotel. <laughs> 